The third thing is you want a higher uh, HDL. That's your, quote, good cholesterol, unquote. Even though uh, we're going to different talks about that, good versus bad, because cholesterol is all good for you, depending on what kind it is. But uh, with HDL, you want it above 40 or 50, ideally. That would be in, in an optimal range. Um, now, going back to the triglycerides, uh, to have really good metabolic health, you know, if you have triglycerides to HDL ratio, you want it, uh, ideally, you want a one-to-one -one ratio there. So let's take this for example. Let's say you have a triglycerides of 70 and you have HDL of 60. That's roughly a one-to-one -one ratio. If you have triglycerides of, uh, say, 150 and HDL of more, uh, 50, uh, so it's 150 of triglycerides, 50 of uh, HDL. That's a three to one ratio. That's getting out of the out of the uh, ideal range. You want a one to one or two to one ratio. So that's a, that's a that's a uh, an easy uh, way to uh, see what what the optimal range is as far as that is concerned for your metabolic health, just with basic labs.